Hey guys, welcome back. So today we have I Heart Fall episode number 14. So today we're making something super yummy that you can keep in your refrigerator and use it as a base for a ton of different recipes. So we are gonna be making pumpkin butter, which is just absolutely delicious. It is made from the pumpkin itself. And then you just add a ton of different like spices to it. And then I'm also gonna show you guys how you can use it throughout the season. So I did tweak the ingredients a little bit and I came up with two different variations. One for somebody like my husband, that has a huge sweet tooth and loves sweet stuff. And then I made a second variation for those of you guys that are like me and you appreciate sweets, but there is such thing as too much sweet. So I will have both variations listed down below, but the ingredients are the same for both. Basically you just need um, pumpkin puree. So I liked, I tried it with both brands. I tried this organic farmer's market brand and I also tried it with the Libby's brand. They're both good. I honestly couldn't tell the difference in the taste um, flavor wise. And then to that, you're just gonna be adding brown sugar, also pumpkin spice, some cinnamon, some maple syrup, and just a pinch of salt. The salt's gonna help bring out all of the sweetness and um, the rest of the ingredients. What makes this entire recipe so delicious is the process of simmering it for about 20 minutes. The simmering process does two things. It helps all of that additional liquid from the pumpkin puree to evaporate, and then it helps that brown sugar caramelize, and this is what's going to give it that super yummy, buttery consistency. So I put the stove on like medium low. I make sure to keep an eye on it because this will burn very easily since it has a lot of um, sugar and maple syrup in it. You wanna just continue stirring. Um, it's normal for it to like bubble a little bit here and there, but just make sure that you continue stirring so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. And once our butter is ready, this is my favorite way of eating it. You have to eat it like this when it's freshly made. Get your toast. So I have sourdough, just make sure it's nice and warm. I like to add some butter to it, some real butter. <laughs> if you guys don't eat butter, it's not a big deal. You don't have to put regular butter on it, but um, we love our butter around here. If you couldn't tell based on my past recipes. I already made one earlier, so that's why my my uh, knife has pumpkin butter on it, but we're gonna pretend like it doesn't. And we are going to get our pumpkin butter. I just love it when it's nice and warm. I feel like it just gives it a pumpkin pie flavor to it. So that's why it is best eaten when it is nice and fresh. I love my pumpkin super cinnamony. Cinnamony, is that even a word? But I do, so I add extra cinnamon to it and right now that is mostly what I'm smelling and it just smells amazing. So you guys can eat it like this. Or if you are that person that has a super sweet tooth like my husband, you could actually drizzle some condensed milk on top. I love using condensed milk around this time of the year, um, especially for like hot chocolate and coffees and things like that because I feel like it gives it a warmer flavor. Like it just tastes so much better. And so I found this, um, it's actually condensed milk, but it comes in a squeezy tube. I was so excited. I don't know if I've been living under a rock or if um, this is brand new, but thought I would mention it in case you do like condensed milk in your beverages as well. Or you could put bacon on top of this and make a pumpkin bacon open face toast. It is to die for you guys, it is so good. Enough talking, you guys. Mm. Mm. So, so good. You guys know this next recipe is coming. This stuff is amazing in your coffee. If you are a pumpkin spice latte lover, you are gonna love having this in your refrigerator. Just mix it in with your coffee, add some cream, milk, whatever you like having, and call it a day. I thought I would take it a little step further in today's video though, and we're actually gonna be making white chocolate pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> and for this, all you're gonna need is your pumpkin butter that we just made, some white chocolate chips, and milk. I'm gonna be making it in my little, what is this thing called? I cannot remember what this is called. I swear, since I had Sebastian, my mind is not quite as sharp. I feel like all of my energy, all my mental energy has gone to like taking care of him that I just forget. I'm so forgetful, I forget so many things. Okay, so anyways, I'm gonna be making in this, but you can make it in your coffee machine. If you have an espresso machine, you can do it in that. I don't have an espresso maker, so I'm just gonna be making super strong coffee in this. And if you guys are curious what kind of coffee I'm gonna use, I'm gonna go grab it for you. This is the best coffee to make in this little machine. This is the Dunkin' Donuts coffee. I know I'm probably gonna 
have like a divided audience <laughs> because you're either like team Starbucks or team Dunkin' Donuts. And I love both, honestly. But for homemade coffee, I love the Dunkin' Donuts mix. It's just so good. I'm gonna add like double the amount of coffee that I normally do and just very little water, just enough for one cup of coffee. Wait for it to get nice and strong. The key to brewing the perfect coffee in a French press is to let it sit there for four minutes. Set a timer if you have to, but if you let it brew for a little bit too long, it's going to get bitter and you definitely don't want it. And while the coffee is brewing, I'm going to melt my chocolate and I'm just gonna melt that in my milk. Just on like super low heat until the chocolate is completely melted. Then I'm gonna add about one to two spoonfuls of the pumpkin butter. Um, this is gonna be totally up to you. You definitely wanna play around with it and see if you prefer it to be more pumpkin-y or less. Um, I'm gonna do two spoonfuls because I want it like super pumpkin-y. And then you just mix it with your coffee and that is your latte. You can also froth up the milk if you have a milk frother or use one of those handheld ones. Or you can make pumpkin whipped cream, which is so easy. You just make your whipped cream like normal using heavy whipping cream, uh, powder, sugar, and then you add a teaspoon of that pumpkin butter. Uh, then it's just time to assemble our pumpkin spice latte. I'm just adding my coffee, my milk with that white chocolate mixture, and then my whipped cream on top. And I do like to add just a dash of cinnamon because cinnamon makes everything better. <laughs> and you have your perfect cup of pumpkin spice latte. You could also have this over ice if you wanted to, or you could use that same chocolate chocolate mixture and turn it into white chocolate pumpkin hot chocolate and you don't have to add the coffee to it. Oh my gosh, you guys. Better than Starbucks. I kid you not. Seriously, you have to try it. And I love the fact that you have that pumpkin butter already sitting in your fridge so you don't have to like go through the process of making all of that every time you wanna have one of these. And you could also save the whipped cream in your refrigerator so you can make extra and have it there for whenever you, you wanna use it. Sorry, I can't even talk right because this is so good. I really hope you guys give that recipe a try. So the last thing I wanna share with you guys is sort of like a dip. I guess you could use this for parties or you could also use it for like a snack for yourself. Like there's so many different ways of having this and it is so easy. So you're just gonna take your pumpkin butter and you're going to mix it with some softened cream cheese. Um, just use whatever cream cheese you like. Just make sure it is nice and room temperature so it's easy to mix. And once you're done mixing it, go ahead and taste it because at this point just depending on how much of that pumpkin butter you used you may need to sweeten it a little bit more so I would use powdered sugar to sweeten that up or you could also mix some cool whip into it to make it nice and fluffy and uh, more of like a like a whipped topping I love spreading this on like bread crackers I love using it as a fruit dip you could dip apples in it and it's just really, really good. I actually have some in my fridge. Kept this in the fridge and we just been nibbling on it. I could eat this stuff straight from a spoon because it tastes like pumpkin cheesecake and it's so easy to make. So that's everything that I have to share with you guys for today's video. I really hope you guys give this a shot. Um, another good idea for this pumpkin butter is you guys can put it in a cute little mason jar. Um, I only had the really, the bigger ones to show you guys, but they have the smaller mason jars that are meant for like butters and jams and things like that. Um, you could put your pumpkin butter in there, put a really cute ribbon or some sort of like cute accessory and use it as a housewarming gift or as like a hostess gift. Um, with the holidays coming up, there's gonna be a lot of like parties and dinners that you get invited to and you can definitely take that as your um, hostess gift. Trust me, I love it when people bring wine, food, basically anything that I can consume that same day is like the perfect hostess gift. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And also if you guys want to check out the rest of the I Heart Fall series episodes, they will be linked down below in a playlist and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.